Hi everybody, this is Rochelle with Grief Recovery with Rochelle. So, got another one that's probably not going to uh, be very popular or win me very many fans, which again, I'm okay with, back to back. Um, this one's going to be about kids and guns. Uh, pretty big in the media, all these school shootings and um, the, there was a shooting in the movies, you know, years ago. There's just shootings going all around. So gun control is a huge topic and this is not actually about gun control. This is about kids and guns. Why are kids using guns? What's going on in their lives? That they feel the need to take such drastic and scary and permanent and painful actions. So basically I'm thinking more about the elephant in the room. You know, we say so much that we want to keep kids safe. But I need to I need to call it back a little bit. We as adults, I believe, need to take a level of responsibility. What does that mean? I do not mean responsibility in that it's your fault that your kid chose to pick up a gun and and go shoot someone. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is there's a whole heck of a lot of stuff that happens before the kid gets to the point of picking up the gun and shooting up a school. It just is. Kids are picking up guns from years and years of stuff going on in their life. And it's that stuff that I want to talk about. We as adults have to take responsibility for what's going on in our kids' lives. Maybe we're missing things. Maybe we're not talking about things and we're leaving kids unresolved. Grief is the feelings you have because of change. And kids are particularly sensitive to change in their life divorce from their parents or people close to them, moves, school changes, teacher changes, you name it. Kids are taking away their favorite blanket. Kids are very sensitive to change. And we as adults are dropping the ball on teaching them how to cope with change, how to become complete or to resolve the situation inside of them that is no longer, it's, it's remaining incomplete. We want to keep them complete, but we're not doing it. And whether it's by education, awareness, or whatever, I don't know. So when you see these videos, I know they're not fantastic as far as, you know, basic, wonderful production, but they're valuable and they can spread awareness. So with this, number one, we've got to call it that elephant in the room that it's, it's stemming from home, guys. Um, whoever you are as the caretaker, do you actually know as much as you possibly can? Have you sought out more information? And if you have sought out much information, did you stop? Did you stop trying to learn? Because I believe that those who are raising the kids have a massive, massive hand in why these kids are unresolved. They're not hearing their kid and their emotion and what's going on. They don't know how to have conversation in a way that the kid feels safe enough to share their feelings and their emotions. If you don't know how to do that, you haven't been trained, then go get some training. There's no shame in learning more. Secondly, it's not just the parents. Who is with the kids for hours and hours of the day? The, the caretakers, the school, the teachers, the principal, the school counselor, if you don't know the steps of when children grieve, I urge you to go learn them because that is helpful in helping kids be identified as grieving and then help them with what to do about it. Give kids some relief, but it's not happening. And it's not happening, I know, because they're growing up with all of this stuff inside of them leading them to something so permanent and tragic as shooting up a school. We don't get there by accident and we don't get there overnight. That's a buildup, guys. Secondly, um, I guess on top of that, the guns are killing people, yes, but it's the person who picks up the gun who's killing other people. Did they start off by killing a bunch of animals? And I'm not talking the hunting kind, I'm talking the, I'm just gonna torture the squirrel just because I'm curious what will happen. You know, different things. What what, are, what can you possibly see? Is the child withdrawn? Um, are they not really talking? Are they talking but it's surface level? 
do you really know what's going on inside of your kid? I'm not here to say that I know everything that's going in, on inside of mine, but I definitely feel safe and comfortable and confident with the tools that I've learned from When Children Grieve and the when, when, um, Grief Recovery Method that, yeah, my kid feels safe to talk to me about his feelings. So does my daughter, and that's a big deal. Um, so this is not to say I'm some kind of pro, but I definitely know a program that's helpful, and I really hope you'll have the courage to look into it for your family. Teachers, look into it for your school. Principals, look into it for your teachers. School counselors, look into it for yourself and everyone else. But guys, the person who's suffering is the child. And if we take away guns, fine, that's your right. Whatever you guys vote on is your right. But they're gonna pick up knives, they're gonna build bombs, they're gonna do different things. They're gonna hang themselves. And if you're really in the heart of this to save the kids, even one matters. And even one is worthy of being saved. So so what, they, they go straight to suicide now, they complete suicide. That was one heart that we missed. And that doesn't feel any better. So the tools of when children grieve are so huge. We have to learn how to talk to kids, identify when they're hurting, give them a safe space so they can talk about their emotion and their feeling and the things that are going on in their life. Um, I, guess, I guess that's really where I'm going with this today. Gun control is your own right to have a feeling about. That's not what this is about. This is about you identifying hurting children and every single one of us walking this face of this earth has a responsibility to recognizing kids helping them helping them to grow up in a healthy strong complete and recovered way as much as possible every single one of us but this society is so much it's your fault it's that one's fault we're pointing fingers we're saying that it's other people's fault. And until we take the time to look at ourselves in our hand, we're not gonna see a change. We're gonna see it get worse and more scary and more dangerous. And we're responding out of fear for ourselves, for our children, what that's gonna feel like if something happens to our kid and are they protected enough? But we're putting the fingers on other people. And until you guys, myself included, take responsibility for what's going on with the children that we have a hand in being around, influencing, saving, protecting, helping them become complete and recovered, we're not going to notice much difference. Take away guns. It will be something else. So I urge you and beg you, for the sake of our children, for the sake of each other, to call up griefrecoverymethod.com. Call me, email me, text me, 661-400-9067. My website has a link both to just myself and to the griefrecoverymethod.com, which is my website is Rochelle Jones. I lied. It's Grief Recovery with Rochelle at, I, I lied again. It's griefrecoverywithrochelle.com. I don't even know where I am. Too passionate about this one. Anyhow, I hope that you all find this video useful, helpful, that you're able to see something in there that will encourage you to take some kind of definite action and it has to start with you. Don't be so afraid. It's only going to hurt a minute. It's kind of like, you know, this whole gun control thing. It's powerful. It's big. It's, an effect, it's effective. But it's also a little bit like, I don't know, treating the symptoms and not treating the disease my nurse brain. You know, I have a foot that's all dead and gangrenous. I can give antibiotics all day long, but I still have a dead foot that's going to have to be addressed. So we don't want to just be the reactionary antibiotic, you know, fix the symptom. We want to know where the problem's coming from. And you have that power. You have that ability. But it does start with you. You want to see changes in this world? Start with yourself. Start with griefrecoverymethod.com. Start with when children grieve. You're not, you're not going to be sad about that. I promise you, you're not going to be sad about that. There's only good things to come. I love you. I hope to talk with you next time. Comment, text, share your thoughts. Um, I'm really looking forward to knowing what y'all are thinking about this. Until next time, bye-bye.